with your hand for the heat? Or is it too cool? It's <laughs> not bad. No, it's not bad weather. The big Norwegian Boeing 737. Well, it was so cold. Yes, it was. Okay, it was early in the morning also. Yeah, it's nice weather here. But let's put our speeder on and get to the baggage collection area. I'm hicking a little bit here as I speak. And Maro is leading the way. Straight out to the left. Straight up ahead. Got a lot of people here. All arriving at the same time. And it's a tour group. Just gonna pass around. I'm just following Maro. Sometimes I say I'm just following Maro and I say it over and over again. It's not really for you viewers, it's actually for the people in front of me and around me so they can hear that I'm coming. And if they're walking a little bit slower, then they'll move out the way without having to ask them every time. The airport's rather full for this time of the day, I must say. On we go. And here we are on the main part of the airport now. It's A. Spread out and to the right. Stiff hold by, yeah. Hot dogs for the Danes who've been missing them. And there's also a pretty manger here, yeah, those of you who want a healthy sandwich snack. Over there. Very enjoyable, but I find it a little bit pricey for what it is. Tiger shop if you want cheap water, travel accessories, locks for your cases, pillows for your head, etc. And uh, this is also the area and the airport where Maru and I, when we leave, go to the lounge. Electronic shop here on the right. As you can see, big advert for Preta Manjur. Lego there on the left. Big Lego shop. Mash Steakhouse. There's a little food market there. Personally, I think the lounge is better value than buying a sandwich and a beer there. You get more for your money upstairs in the lounge and a nice relaxing area to spend your time. The watch the shop scan, same as Mado has. Watch, she's actually moving quite fast now. Again, so I'm battling to keep up a little bit. But I'll just follow. As we go down towards the baggage reclaim area. Hopefully our luggage will be there all the way from Kusamui. A few days before the flight, Maro was in Crete and uh, they lost her baggage in Munich and it was actually there for one week before they found it again. Maro had to buy all her cosmetics etc. again for the Thailand trip. It's just not very, very good and I don't think the insurance covers that. Insurance only covers covers uh, or mostly covers on the way home, or sorry, on the way to the destination, not on the way home from a destination. Oops, she's moving it. Oh, exit. Baggage reclaim. When I told Mana to move fast, I didn't mean that fast. Here we go. Welcome to Copenhagen. Come on. Oh, we just got to see on the signs up up ahead where our baggage, which baggage belt our luggage will be on. Frankfurt, I can see there, belt three, five to ten minutes. So always check there, and then you can see where your luggage will be coming out from. Once we fit our baggage, if it comes, hopefully, then I'll take you outside in the arrivals area, show you where the taxis leave from, show you where the regional trains leave from, and where the metro trains leave from. We'll be taking a metro train home, Maro and I. So, up to the baggage we go. So, we're continuing. 
over to belt three, where our luggage for Frankfurt is supposed to be. It will be coming in one to five minutes. It should be there. Where does it, where does it start from? Let's sneak ourselves in over here. Come on up to the top. Go here. There's a good space. One of our luggages. It's quite dirty. No trip. Only for one more now. I'm filming, that's why my is catching. You got it. And off we go. Stay for hold by our Danish sausages is open. Just open for business. Beef burger. We're walking straight down. It does smell lovely. Walking down to the customs area where I'll turn the camera off. And as soon as we've been through customs, I'll turn it on again. I'll show you where you can catch a taxi. Where you can take the regional trains. Or we are taking the metro, so we'll end the video off as we're walking to the metro. So anyway, here's customs, the green and the red. We're going through the green. We have nothing to declare. See you on the other side. And through we go. Coming out, I'll take a right turn here. Mara, I'll see you in a moment. This is where the... Okay, here we are. The taxi area. So you'll turn right directly if you need a taxi. When you get to Copenhagen Airport. Too many people walking here, so the door just closed. I'll show you where the taxi area is. It's also an area where you can smoke as soon as you come outside here. But here are the taxi lines. See here, the taxi leaves from down there and it's supervised. And all taxis run on a meter here in Denmark, so you don't have to worry about getting ripped off. There's the smoking area, as you can see. Let's go back in again. Mara was waiting for me at the Burger King. And I'll show you where the regional trains are. It's the arrivals area, straight ahead. That's where we just came out of. So if you came out from here where these stripy lines are, you'll go straight. Straight down in the direction of the information boards. And we have Mara waiting for me there at Burger King. That's up there where we normally eat. Passing, Mara is catching some selfies there, the check-in desks. And you go down here for your train tickets. It's automatic vending machines that you can use. And there's always somebody there that can help you if you are in doubt. That bus tickets for train, local bus and metro can be bought over here, as you can see. Once you have your train ticket, you go down track one, which is up there, if you're heading for Sweden, Malmö, or we walk to the other side, show you over here, and we walk to the other side, next to the Prita, Prita Manchur, there's another escalator going downstairs, track two, and that's the track you'll take if you're going to Copenhagen in that direction or up the coast. Track 2. If you're going to take the metro, you just take the lift upstairs or the escalator. Straight up the stairs there, that escalator, and just walk straight, and there you'll find the metro. And that's what Maro and I got to do right now. So there you go. That was that trip done. Fantastic, if you can say that. Went rather quickly. It was enjoyable. Easy to do. I actually feel quite fresh. Yeah. Slept quite a few hours after that. Yeah, we did, we did. If you enjoyed the trip report, this extended version of a trip report, it's a very long one, I think. I don't know yet. I haven't edited it yet, obviously. But uh, if you enjoyed it, please leave us a like down below. It does help our channel. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. We'd love to have you there. Also, where we post some video clips and photos that you don't see on YouTube. But it's time to go home now. Yes. 
thanks for flying with us. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you on the next video. Bye bye from me, Maxi. From me, Mara.